Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you why it's helpful, but also how to create a consistent layout for all of your assignments that you might be using in Canvas. So there's several benefits to using a template or a consistent layout with your assignments. It creates some uniform consistency for you as the teacher, so you have a reminder of things you should always be adding to the assignment, but it's also great for building routine for your students, especially as we navigate this new learning management system and students are going to be new to it. Building some routine there is a little bit easier for them to take in that new information. Plus with assignments, the last thing we wanna do is confuse our students right before they're about to do something that's an artifact of their learning. So if you use a consistent layout, it can help kind of reduce some of that uh, uncertainty and confusion along the way. Plus, the nice thing about it is if you use a consistent layout in Canvas assignments, you can always add in links to resources, instructions, so students have access to the learning materials they need to use to do the assignment. And you can even link in resources for technical support. So because this is new, they likely will have questions on how they submit assignments. You can show them a tutorial link to that all within that assignment. So to build an assignment in Canvas, you'll need to go into your one of your Canvas courses. And once you are in that Canvas course, it's going to be on the left-hand navigation menu here. If you're in the elementary view, you'll want to click uh, Manage Subject, and then you'll see Assignments here. And to start creating a new assignment, I just click this little plus Assignment button. So things to know with the assignment page here, some of these, as you notice, have different icons because assignments on Canvas are technically this page is going to show anything where there can be a score or a grade associated, which is more than just the assignment tool itself. So I have some quizzes built out here. I have some discussions. I have assignments. And these different icons show you what type of assignment it is. So here, this is a quiz, the little rocket ship. But this is the actual assignment tool. So as you get more familiar with Canvas, you'll start to memorize what those are. And you can create different assignment groups or categories, so you can always put those in those different places like quizzes, assignments, discussions, whatever have you. So as I go through and I make an assignment, all right, this is where you start building your assignment tool. So I can just say, maybe this is one that you never publish because it's going to be the one that you duplicate over and over and over again. And this is just your fresh template copy, okay? So things that you'll always wanna include is your learning goal, assignment due date, instructions, and then any learning resources the students might need associated with this assignment. So to save you some time though, I have actually gone out and I've built a template for you that you could copy into your course, customize, add a few things as you need to, and then you're good to go. And my recommendation would be keep a fresh template in your course and never publish it for the students so they never see it. But that's the one that you're always copying and editing whenever you want to make an assignment that's fresh for students that you actually intend to publish. You always have your original copy and then you make copies of that for uh, the actual assignment students will be doing. So the one I've made for you is in the Canvas Commons. So if you go over here to Commons on your left hand navigation menu, right, it is going to take a second to load but I actually added it here as a featured item so you could see it right away. But otherwise you would search for BCSC assignment template and it would pop up and it shows me as the owner. So whenever I see this and I wanna import it, this gives you a little bit of a preview of what it is. But what I would do is over here on the left-hand side of my screen, I'm gonna do import download. And when I select that, I'm going to pick what course I wanna import this into. So for my example here, I'm going to put this into a training course that I made for principals. So I'm going to import it there, okay? Now it tells me it's taking a second, it's successfully starting, it's working. So what I usually like to do is come over here to my dashboard and then pop into that course where I was importing that. All right, so I have lots of courses here <laughs> and I, don't see all of them listed. So the other button you can use is the courses menu. There we go. And I can go to my assignments in that course. And there it is. So it's going to show up under imported because I got that from the commons. But now all I can do is just edit this and make it my own. So if I knew that I want to keep using this as my template. I can copy this to other courses if I have other ones that I teach. I would put this into a module and maybe I just have a module in my course that's just 
teacher resources. And that's a module I never publish for my students, but it's where I put all of my page templates, my assignment templates, quiz templates, all of those things. And once it's in a module, then I can just do the duplicate button and then drag and drop it and I will show you that. So here I am, here's this assignment and here's just the way that we have set this up so that you can easily go through and edit these different pieces. So I can put my assignment name here, the due date, always like to put that at the top. It's also going to be at the bottom and that's just a setting you have to fill out before you can even publish this assignment. I'll add my learning goal here, any instructions. We've already linked the assignment tool here for you to help your students and the guide there, technical support for it. Then we've added a button here to take you back to the homepage of your course, whatever that might be. It will figure out what your homepage is set as and take the students there and update if you make any changes. So after that, I can go through and do all of these things that I need to to configure my assignment. Whenever I'm finished, I can do save and publish. All right. So let's say that I want to move this assignment into a place where I can more easily duplicate and copy it. So the way to do that is to go to my modules tab. And here are some different modules that we have made. So what I'm going to do is name this one Teacher Resources. And this module is purely just going to serve as my module for my resources, my template things that will never be published for any learners that I actually have in this course. Okay. So I always like to pull a, a module like this to the top. My students will never see it, but it's only for me. So what I'm going to do is click the plus button and I'm going to go and find the assignment that I want to put in here. So it's on the assignment category. If there was something else, I would select that and I'll do BCSC assignment template and I'll just add it. Okay, so now that's my template resource in here. And the tip is that if I wanted to make this assignment to where I could easily put it into a true module that I want students to access, that I plan on building out as an actual assignment, the fast way to do this, I think, is to put it in this module first and then duplicate. And there it is. And now it's no longer going to mess with my original if I make any edits on this copy. And then what you can do is drag and drop it and put it somewhere else. So that is my little kind of workflow hack there is to put it in a module so then you can duplicate it and move it around a little bit more efficiently. But that is how you can create templates for yourself in Canvas assignments to create some consistency and routine for yourself as well as your students. Hopefully you found this helpful and we will send you another tech tip in the near future.